Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome back to another RAM Shard Minecraft server tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to easily install a Curse Forge or Twitch mod pack to your server. Now, getting started, you want to find the mod pack on the Curse Forge website. You can easily search for it using the toolbar. Oftentimes, with most mod packs, there is a server pack that is made alongside it. Basically, a server pack is a modified version of the mod pack you would use on your client, which would basically have certain configs modified and or client side mods removed. If a mod pack you want does not have a server pack, you would be able to use a regular mod pack. Though, please note, Forge does not always automatically disable client side mods, meaning you would need to disable them yourself or contact us for help on this. Now, downloading the mod pack is very simple. When you search or just find the mod pack from the list, you want to click on the image or the name of it. That will take you to the main page of the mod pack. Once on the mod pack page, you go to the top toolbar. You will see a few different options. Go ahead and click on the files tab. Now, you should scroll down and see a button that says plus one server pack. You want to click into the version of that that you want for your mod pack. After you download the server mod pack, you want to extract the zip file onto your desktop. Once extracted, go ahead and open the folder. Now, you should see an installer type of file. Usually, this installer is a BAT file named installer.bat. Upon opening the file, you should see a run or a yes button. Go ahead and click on it. After you do, you'll see UI pop up and you want to let that run. After that UI closes, that means it is completed. Now, before uploading the files to your server, you want to do a couple of things. You want to go to remove the installer files and the start and the settings.bat files. Now, before uploading the files to your server, you want to go to rename the forge universal file to custom.jar. Now, after you do that, you can go ahead and start uploading the files to your server. Now, we're going to be using FileZilla to do this. If you don't know how to use FileZilla, it is very, very simple. You can go ahead and click on the icon on how to get started with FileZilla. Now, we also suggest resetting your server. Now, this is also very simple. You can just go to the icon and let it do that really, really quickly and come right back to this spot and continue with your mod pack installation. Now, we're going to go to drag and drop all of the files into the home directory of your server. Now, once all the files are uploaded, you want to go ahead and use the server as a custom jar type. So go ahead and head to your control panel, find the server selector type, and then go up top to where you see custom jar, click that, and then start your server. Now the server may take a little bit to boot up at first as it is generating all the mod con. It is also generating the world, it's loading all the mods into the server, so just be patient. Now once the server is up, you're going to join the server and enjoy your modded server. Now guys, that is how you easily install a CurseForge mod pack to your Minecraft server. I hope this tutorial has helped. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more tutorials. Remember, just contact us on our live chat if you need any help with this.